The Tawila is the national flower of Samoa, and it was renamed due to a famous author's struggle with its original pronunciation, Tuiila. Villa Vailima became home to English author Robert Louis Stevenson and his family for the last chapter of his life, which he spent in Samoa. His home is now a popular museum for tourists. He made quite an impact on the Samoan people in his short time here, and they even Hi. gave him a Hello. Samoan name. Talofa, and welcome to Robert Louis Stevenson Museum. Samoans call him Tusi Tala. It means teller of tales or storyteller. Robert Louis Stevenson was very hard to pronounce by the locals back then, and that's why they gave him a Samoan name. Robert Louis Stevenson wrote 13 books in Samoa for four and a half years. Now that's like one book for four months, all done by hand. He wrote a lot of books about Samoa. Uh, uh, the best known tale that he wrote in Samoa, I'll say a footnote to history. It talks about everything that happened during the time that Robert Louis Stevenson was in Samoa. He's a very good advisor to our high chiefs for fighting for our own independence. And not only that, he was always involved in the Samoan politics. Now he nearly got deported by the Germans because that was the beginning of the German colonies in Samoa. But that didn't stop him. And that's why our people, the Samoan people, love Robert Louis Stevenson. He was very different from all the Europeans who were here around that time. So this is the last part of our tour, Stevenson's dining room and ballroom. This is also where Robert Louis Stevenson died in December 3rd, 1894, when he was just 44 years old. So he only spent four and a half years in Samoa but did a lot of things and made a very huge impact here. Ooh. Under the white and starry sky, dig the grave and let me lie. Glad did I live and gladly die. And I lay me down with a will. This be the virtue grave for me. Here he lies where he longed to be. Oh, Mr. Sailor, home from the sea. And a hunter home from the hill.